Trust them again. Nah, girl. Nah, don't fall for that. Come on now. Shit. Come on. How lazy can you be? The level of laziness out of these people is insane. Resume is a heavy weight. Yeah, put it on my back. Give me everything. Yeah, I need, uh, I need everything. I need all of everything. Yeah. So last week I released a video on switching from Mac to Windows and Final Cut Pro to Premiere Pro, which ultimately wound up being DaVinci Resolve. I already knew DaVinci Resolve and even with this new beast of a PC that I bought, Premiere Pro still wasn't running that amazing. Still a little, some problems there, some hiccups. My 2017 iMac handled it better on Final Cut Pro than this machine did with Premiere Pro. And honestly, I didn't go through all this trouble of switching out hardware and doing all this stuff to work with an unstable workstation. So I had to go back to DaVinci Resolve. Luckily, I already owned the studio serial key, so I was good to go. Now I'm gonna get to the point of this whole video. Let me sidetrack one second and then it'll all come around full circle. This is the Loop Deck Plus. This was my go-to editing control panel and I used it with Final Cut Pro and I used it in my short time with Premiere Pro and it worked great. It's a really nice control panel and it's very affordable. Only problem is it don't work with DaVinci at all. So then I started exploring other options and looking at these DaVinci Resolve control panels and the cheapest one was like a thousand dollars, give or take. And then a company by the name of Torbox sent me over their device, which is called the Torbox. And here it is. This is the Torbox. Look how small it is. I mean, it's probably a little bit bigger to you since I have these big masculine, just absolutely breathtaking, heart grabbing, heart crumbling, throw it in my mouth, chew it up, spit it back out and clean it up because I don't litter and then throw it away. Massive basketball palming hands here. And basically what this is, number one, this is like a fidgeter's dream right here. You just have dials and wheels and clicky things all over the place and it's built really well it connects to your computer through a usb type c port it's going to work with pretty much any program that allows you to assign keyboard shortcuts let's say in final cut pro or premiere pro your cut tool is command b or control b and it cuts and then you want this button right here to do the cutting well then you open up the tour box app and then you assign this button right here to work as command or control b and then when you click it your computer is going to think that you're hitting control B and it's going to do a cut for you. It's literally that simple. Now, this isn't the greatest tool for color grading. It's not really intended for that. It's more intended to just give more of a shortcut to your already keyboard shortcuts. And once you learn the buttons, having a device like this can shorten up your editing time by an hour, two, maybe even three hours, depending on how long it usually takes you to cut up your footage. Torbox also has profiles that you could download that are both from officially from Torbox and also from users that use Torbox. You can create your own and upload them and then make them available for other people. You just load the profile right in, select that profile, open up the app of whatever profile you select and start using it that's how simple it is all right so first thing we're going to do is jump into the Torbox console app and take a quick look around on the left here we have our preset list which is made by both users and Torbox themselves you could download them free right on Torbox's website personally i like making my own so i know everything is set up exactly how i want it this da vinci preset right here is one that i made completely myself and let's check it out now and see exactly how it works so anytime i press a button spin a knob turn a wheel like a bean it pops up here on the app so let me show you but i'm gonna press is this one right here and when i press it as you can see right here the tall button they call this the tall button pops up if i hit the button to the right of it which is the short button and it highlights and it makes it extremely easy for you to set your command up so we'll hit this button to highlight it and as you can see i have it set to control b but the way you do that is you come in the app you go right on this bar right here and you just literally hit the commands 
in your keyboard and it'll record it. So we're gonna hit Control B and then we're gonna come over here to OK, save it. So we'll open up DaVinci Resolve and the first thing we'll do is hit that button that we assigned the razor to and boom does its cut this little wheel right here it scrolls on the timeline so as you can see as i turn it this little wheel right here i assign to zoom in and out of the timeline so right here we'll do another cut this back button that looks like a video game pad i assign when i hit the back button to undo and when i hit the forward button to redo so i can undo that cut that i just made and if i say hey i want to keep it boom we pop it right back in there then from right here i could hit this button again make another cut and then this button I assigned to do a ripple delete. So it kind of makes this almost like a magnetic timeline like I was used to in Final Cut Pro. I like the magnetic timeline. I guess you pretty much like whatever way you learned and Final Cut Pro was kind of like my first professional software that I learned on. So I like the magnetic timeline. It seems like it's less work for me to do. So I assigned this button, not just delete, but to ripple delete so that it takes everything to the right of the delete and it brings it down and fills any blank spaces. And there we go. So all day I'm doing this with my edits. This is the play and pause button. This is the cut button. This is the scroll button. This is the delete button. This is the copy button. But then when I hold this button right here and hit the copy button, it does a paste attribute. So you could just copy, hold, and paste your attributes. If I wanted to make these two clips that I just split in half right here or any two clips into a compound clip, I assign it to this little half a lemon slice shape button right here. Boom, compound clip ready to be created. Hit create, and now you got yourself a compound clip. You could assign these buttons and wheels to do pretty much anything you could think of that can be done with some kind of shortcut in any of these programs. The zoom in and out wheel is, it just makes it worth it right away. You could see how super responsive it is. I mean, it's literally instant. There is no lag to this device whatsoever. All right, now let's take a quick, quick look at Lightroom. We're not gonna talk about Photoshop today because I don't really know Photoshop, but I do plan on learning it, maybe. Now that I'm canceling my Adobe Cloud situation here because I'm not gonna pay all this money for just Lightroom every month. There's a million other apps that can pretty much do what Lightroom can do on my iPhone or my iPad. So I don't really think it's worth it for me to keep the subscription now that I know I'm rocking with DaVinci. So now we're gonna come back into the Torbox console. And since we are about to start up Lightroom, we're gonna select Lightroom and our presets are here. And then we'll open up Lightroom. Now remember this little half lemon shape button that made a compound clip in DaVinci Resolve before? Well, now when I hit it, it gives me my grid view. If I hit this little small button on the left of these two right here, I have it set up to show me where my image is clipping. So right there, it's showing me that those parts are pure black and I could probably raise the shadows up a little bit. The button that I used to clip in DaVinci is now my undo button. So undo switch, we didn't make any, we didn't make any adjustments. See this little wheel here? Now you can scroll up and down with it, but you could also click it in and I have that set to my hue, saturation, and luminance. So then we could just make our adjustments and make this picture look ridiculous. Actually it looks kind of cool like that, but super unrealistic. And then if we want to undo those, boom, excuse me, take that back. Oh, give that one back too. Thank you. But you can make these buttons do whatever you want. If there's a keyboard shortcut for it, it'll work with the tour box. A little trick that I could recommend, and it's not only with the tour box, it's with any of these editing consoles, is what you could do is take a picture of the device itself. Like take a picture of the tour box, print out that paper, and then take a pen or a magic marker or something and write down each command by each button, maybe draw a line out and then write at the top of the line exactly what each button does. And then you could keep it right by your workstation until you learn it by heart and then you could just throw it away like I do these hearts. The tour box is small, it's reliable, and at only $169, I think it's a no-brainer if you edit video or photo. Links in the description if you want to pick one up for yourself. Thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. If you are not yet subscribed, please do so. I'd appreciate it highly. All right, my people. Until next time, enjoy your day, your night, and tomorrow morning. Salute. I want everything, that's on everything It's like a weather for